I've learnt something. It caught me by surprise and, well, delight too. With such bright eyes and delight in the face, the person said, I've learnt something. I'd been speaking about the role of redeeming in the Bible. I'd referred to the God-given requirement for new parents to offer their firstborn male child to God. It nearly sounds like child sacrifice, but God is quite clear. He says no, no, no to any child sacrifice. Israel is not to be like other nations. Let me explain. In the Old Testament, the new parents offer their firstborn male child to God as a thanksgiving. God redeems the offer by asking the parents only to sacrifice a lamb or two young pigeons. This idea of God redeeming is found throughout the Old Testament. Abraham is about to sacrifice his son Isaac and God redeems Isaac by providing a ram instead. Israel are in slavery in Egypt and God redeems them from slavery as they leave through the Red Sea. Israel struggles against surrounding nations and God redeems them by defeating those nations. The people of Israel sin, that's break the ways and laws of God, and God provides a sacrificial system to redeem them and provide forgiveness. And so on, it's all there. In the New Testament, God's redeeming of people is seen ultimately and completely in the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. When we should take the penalty for our sin, our not keeping of God's ways and laws, God provides the perfect sacrifice, the perfect redeeming act in giving of himself, God the Son, to bring redemption and forgiveness. I've learnt something. Behind that excited phrase was the joy of learning about God's redeeming purposes worked out through all God's history and relayed to us in the Bible. And I suppose the greatest delight in all this is God redeems us out of his grace and love for us. It is he who acts to redeem. It is he who desires to redeem. It is he who initiates to redeem. We are but invited by God to accept his divine initiative, desire and action. That's all. And the door to redemption and forgiveness opens wide. It's Lent soon, doing an act of some penance as usual except all that is necessary is to accept God's invitation and ponder how you can love even more the one who loves you first and always.